My mother cheated on my father, and my sister decides to go with her because the guy she cheated with is rich, and she's telling me we can live a better life with them. But I'm trying to tell her, hey, what's wrong with you? I don't care about money. Our mom just did this to our father. Well, the joke's on her, because just a little while later, Dad, well, he becomes very rich. My name's Sally, and I was the firstborn of the Thompson family. My father was an only child while my mother had four siblings, but never kept contact with any of them, so I don't have much knowledge about them. Our family consisted of four, actually. I had a little sister named Lily, too. My mom and dad got married after dating for two years in college, and my dad belonged to a rich family while my mother was just an ordinary woman with a mediocre background. They fell in love and got married quite fast despite my paternal grandfather's refusal. But my dad was smitten with my mother back then and went against him even foolishly cutting off contact with him. To live a good life with her, which, by the way, never happened. My mother, though, married to my dad willingly always sang songs about regretting her decisions. After my father lost connections to his family, he was left to deal with his issues by himself, with no financial or moral support from his family whatsoever. He had to start from scratch, look for a good job and build a house for us. But my mother was neither happy nor satisfied ever. She always pushed him to bring more, and my father, even though was emotionally drained and heck, even physically tired, did all of it for us. We were living in a small town in a comfy little home. While I was more attached to my father, Lily leaned toward my mom. The reason might be her own personality similar to mom's. Lily was stubborn and spoiled, and mom never rectified her mistakes, and that just ruined her image even more. As we started growing up, Lily became more and more rebellious, always fighting and arguing for luxuries and money, very much like our mother. Our whole childhood, we only saw moms complaining about branded clothes and luxury items. She always fought with dad for things he could not even afford. So, Lily learned from the best. No matter how much I tried to rectify her, she never learned and she stayed the same until the end of our parents' marriage, too. And that happened when Mom got exposed. See, I recall seeing Mom bring a stranger into our house quite a lot of times. Whenever Dad wasn't home or was away at the office on a visit, we were too naive back then to know who he was or what he meant. But I remember telling Mom, and I remember Mom telling him that Dad hit her and lied about him doing really bad things. The man was Richard and our now stepfather. Their affair continued for years before my dad found out. It happened when one day she had him over and dad just unexpectedly popped up from work early. Dad was outraged, seeing them all cozy on our living room couch. He launched onto him and fight broke out. Lily and I were scared. We both knew it was wrong and we were not children. We should have told them, but it was our mother, so we both just stayed out of it. Her bad habits did ruin our personalities, too. I had anxiety and constant fear of our family falling apart, while Lily was a total rebel. Sleeping around, having fun, just like Mom. Anyways, Dad even slapped Mom right across the face. I saw her falling down, but she seemed to have gone crazy as she was screaming and yelling, not even acting guilty at all. Richard left, and after that, Dad isolated himself in his room. We all knew what was coming, and that was a divorce. So, Dad, he stayed away from Mom and did not confront her after that day. He told her to leave the house, and she didn't care. She packed up her things, and I cried trying to stop her, but she didn't even listen. She left the house the very next day and went to Richard, which we later found out. Dad was heartbroken, and she did not even care. I knew I was going to be with him, not her. Dad contacted his family lawyer, an old friend of his. 
it might be the first time in years for him to get in contact with somebody related to his family. Mom hated everyone there or so. He stayed away from them all. His friend came to our house after two days and dad explained about his situation and how he wanted to make sure she doesn't get much of his money. He was an experienced lawyer and he did help dad. Dad had not much under his name as my grandfather had not transferred anything under his name, so he didn't lose anything when he finally divorced her. Mom came back, though, with no ounce of shame. I'm talking hands in hand with her lover. Dad was livid and we had this friend over at our house. Dad yelled and cursed up a storm at her to leave, but she didn't. His friend stepped in and tried to calm things down, fortunately. He managed to make Dad sit down and talk things out. But the moment my mother opened up her lips, his eyes narrowed and Mom wetted her lips, leaning back on the couch comfortably as she threw the bomb at us. She demanded us to move out with her or otherwise. She's going to court. Well, I felt confused and angry at the same time. We weren't kids that she's here threatening to go to court. I just stayed quiet, glancing over at my father who had his jaw clenched and hands fisted as if ready to snap her neck or punch her lover's face at the same time. Before I could say anything, Lily spoke out, informing me that she wanted to live with mom instead. I could not be more dumbfounded at her words. Dad had the same reaction as he stood up and he turned towards her, reminding her of the ugly truth and the reason behind his divorce. That his mom cheated. But Lily just shrugged, blaming him for not being able to give her the happiness that she deserved and providing her with the best. I saw my father's face falling hearing that. I just felt horrible watching it all, so I intervened berating her for being so selfish and ignoring the fact that he always worked hard for us, but Lily just scoffed, laughing at him and mocking him. I couldn't believe that was my sister. She refused to acknowledge any of it, saying she and Mom deserved a good life and Richard wants to give them that. I only shook my head, announcing my decision that I was going to stay with Father no matter what. Hearing this, Mom padded towards me, her long nails clawing into my arm as she shook me, telling me to come to my senses and choose the best. I pushed her away, glaring at her and yelling how much I despised her and her selfish desires. Dad's friend warned her to not pressurize me, and so it was decided that Lily would leave with her while I would stay. We both were old enough to choose, so the matter was resolved just like that. Lily sprinted upstairs, throwing her things into a bag and leaving with them in his luxury car. Dad's friend talked with him about some legal procedures and he left. I sat there silently before Dad told me to go to my room. I could hear him cussing and getting drunk. He kept yelling profanities all night when I tried my best to just sleep. The next day, Dad went to meet his attorney again and I was left alone at home. I heard the doorbell ring and I ran outside only to find Richard standing there. I frowned seeing him and he requested to let him in. I wasn't sure of the reason behind his visit, but I let him in and he entered. The man sat on the sofa immediately speaking up and getting to the point. He started with how sincere he was with my mom then proceeded to talk about a family he dreamed of and slowly started requesting me to ditch my father and come to them. He offered to carry out all my expenses and give us a good amount of luxury to allow us to live in his home. I was quiet until he started talking bad about my father, calling him a loser and a failure. I walked towards him and threw the juice I was drinking earlier all over him. He got up, Cursing, screaming, of course, before I could do anything. I heard the door. Click. It was my father. His blood boiled seeing the man I saw, both of them throwing punches at each other. Dad threw him on the ground and repeatedly punched his face, almost breaking his nose. If it wasn't for our neighbors who rushed over to stop them after hearing the commotion. 
The man warned father and threatened him before leaving our house and giving him a glare, not telling me to think about what he said. I didn't think, though, because I could not really understand what he really wanted and what he would get by adopting us. It just added to the baggage mom was bringing to him. Anyways, after that, Lily was legally his daughter. She chose the glitter of his house and fantasies that he showed her. I kept living with my dad. But one day, I decided to pay mom and Lily a visit. Dad allowed me to. I knew I could move out too, but I still did not want to leave him all depressed and I wasn't able to manage my finances, so living with him was far better of an option. Anyways... I paid heed to his words and asked him for his permission whenever I wanted to meet them. I went to his house and Richard lived in a richer area and a bigger house with cars and servants. When I went there, I was absolutely shocked to see my mother and Lily. They acted as if they were the rulers of the world, clothed in branded clothing from head to toe and screaming at the maids. It was unbelievable. I sat there trying to talk to them about how they were doing, but they started the same stupid conversation. Leaving dad and living in the luxurious house, ditching that mediocre life and adopting to this lifestyle. But I refused. Just then, Richard entered, his eyebrows shooting to his hairline seeing me. He came to attend me and started talking crap about my father. I got up yelling at the man, and this resulted in mom getting up to and slapping me. I was shocked to the core. She yelled at me to respect my now stepfather and called me an ungrateful brat. I looked over at my little sister who sat there nonchalantly not caring about me at all. I left the house and went back and promised myself to never see them again. Later that night, Lily texted me telling me how foolish I was and how we should benefit from the solution. She told me how much big of an inheritance we would be getting after legally getting registered as his children. I was disgusted by her materialistic thinking and just ignored her. As time passed, Lily got more and more used to the life and started loathing our dad even more. I knew Richard was feeding her all the hate and she was doing whatever he was asking. She started to hate our father's presence and started to badmouth him all the time. She would go on about how good our stepdad is and how well he treats them. But I ignored it all and stopped even contacting her. Two years passed and dad and I are living in the same routine. I would go to my college and he would go to his work. That was until one day... It all changed. It was a Sunday morning and Dad was home, reading the newspaper when he received a call from an unknown number. He ignored it, but it kept on ringing, so eventually he answered. I was in the kitchen making myself some toast. I heard my father gasp as if he heard something really shocking. This made me run towards him worriedly as I started questioning him about the matter. Dad was crying silently as he whispered that my grandfather was in the hospital and the call was from his secretary. That day, Dad sat there thinking about his next move when I encouraged him to go see him. Dad was worried about meeting him after so many years of staying isolated from him, but in the end, I convinced him to put every difference aside and go. Dad packed up his stuff in a small bag and left, leaving me all alone to wonder about the situation. The city where my grandfather lived was a few hours away from our town. A whole day passed and I got no news from Dad. Eventually, I called to learn about his arrival, but what I heard was him telling me that when he reached there, my grandfather was already dead. Those few days, Dad stayed there and when he came back, he refused to eat and started working tirelessly. To add fuel to the fire, one day Mom came. She learned about the situation and instead of sympathizing with him, started laughing and mocking him, blaming him for his father's death. Dad got a panic attack and was rushed to the hospital after that. I screamed and begged mom not to come to the house ever again and she threw some cash at me before storming out in her luxurious high heels. 
Because of father's condition, he was recommended to bed rest, and so he did not go to work for two weeks, which caused him to be kicked out of there. He was an old employee after all, and they wanted young, energetic people. Well, I started to look for a job, but my qualifications or skills were simply not good enough, so all I got was a server job at a nearby cafe. It was hard for us to meet the ends. There was barely any food or resources left. Just when the despair had arrived to eat us up, we got another phone call from Dad. It was my grandfather's secretary. He wanted to discuss something in person, but I informed him about Dad's health and invited him over to our home. But when he finally came two days later, there was another man with him, my grandfather's lawyer. I offered them some cold drinks and they all sat down in the living room. The conversation started slow and we had no idea what they were even here for. But the moment that, well, five million dollars of inheritance left their mouth, Dad and I were shocked. Dad, of course, belonged to a wealthy businessman family, that he had left all that behind for Mom, so we were stunned to know that his father hadn't omitted him from the inheritance, and he included it in his will, that it would be passed on to him and his children. They started discussing the legal procedures, and that's when a shocking revelation occurred. Dad told them he had two daughters, but one is now legally adopted by her stepdad. The lawyer told us that she's no longer taking his family name and isn't under his name anymore, so she's not going to get a thing. I was shocked to know that we got such a big share of the inheritance, and Lily is getting nothing. I had no idea how she was going to respond when she was aware of the issue, but one thing I knew for sure was she wasn't going to deal with it calmly. What's up everybody, Mr. Redito here. Today's story is the wildest inheritance drama I've read about in quite some time. I have multiple updates for this one, and oh boy, just wait until you see what Lily thinks about this situation. If you're new to the channel, the best way to support me is super simple. Just click that subscribe button. Only 4% of people watching this video are subscribed to the channel. So come on, show a little bit of love. Smash that subscribe button, guys, and let's jump into update number one. After having a thorough conversation on the topic, the two men left, and now father and I were left to discuss it all. Dad sat quietly pondering something before finally speaking up that Lily's not getting anything as she willingly cut ties with them to live with Richard. I expected him to say it all and agreed after all, it wasn't my money. Days passed and we were done with all the paperwork and finally got our shares of it. Dad made a decision to stay in the same house where he used to live, which he practically, by the way, was a mansion, and I could use the money to buy myself whatever I want and he would start looking up ways to handle Grandpa's business. We moved out and started to settle there. My life took a 180-degree turn, though, and I could not be happier. One day, I went shopping to buy myself some branded clothing, and I bumped into Lily. She was shocked to see me buying things from such an expensive shop. She was with a friend group of spoiled, rich brats, but excused herself and immediately came to me. Dragging me outside, she inquired about my purpose of visiting and I just briefly told her that dad is handling grandpa's business again. I knew she wasn't dumb, so she quickly caught on to the fact that father and I were back to being <laughs> rich rich. But she did not care much as she herself was living the good life. And this made me something, I don't know, inside of me just snap as I blurted out the big inheritance we received. This caught Lily's attention, with her eyes almost bulging out of their sockets hearing that number. I was happy to see her reaction. She started inquiring about her share, and I informed her that since she's longer part of the family, she isn't getting a penny. Lily could not believe her ears. I knew for sure that if we were not in public, she might have started to claw at her own face for being so stupid. 
She questioned me about her new address and I gave her that for some reason. After that, I went home and did not bring up the subject with Dad. But I knew it's just a matter of time before she shows up and causes a ruckus. And that's exactly what happened. Lily showed up two days later, livid and furious along with Mother. Dad was home and I was in my room. We were informed that the two women came to meet us, introducing themselves as family. I cannot help but consider it funny. Anyways, Dad was not really in a good mood hearing that, and when the two women entered, they immediately started demanding Lily share. Dad sat there nonchalantly, while I sat there watching them quietly. She started throwing things, trying to rile up Father, but all he did was mutter that nothing was hers, and she's not getting anything. Before the two women could attack him physically or even verbally, Dad called out to his security and threw them out. I felt bad for Lily, but knew she deserved all this. Update number two, a week later. Just when I thought Lily got her lesson and would be understanding of the situation, I was proven wrong. She called me and spat profanities at me, calling me all sorts of things, including a jerk, betrayer, and whatnot, as I lazily listened to it all. I knew she was unable to accept that she lost such a big chunk of money. I told her that it wasn't up to me, and that this attitude is not going to get her anywhere before cutting the phone call short. Lily did not disturb me after that for some time, and I thought that's because she finally understood what I was trying to say. But later, I learned some very... unexpected news. It was nearly 7 in the morning, and I was getting ready to go to college, when Lily called me. At first, I ignored it and did not answer the call, but she kept texting me to pick up, so eventually I had to. The first thing I heard was a loud shrieking voice that caught me off guard. I immediately stopped doing whatever I was doing and let Lily talk. She told me that her credit card froze and she could not buy anything for herself for a week now. And she has no money and that Richard told them his company had gone bankrupt due to some internal fraud. And of course corruption of the executives. I was stupefied at hearing that. I started to ask her about what exactly happened and she started to tell me all the details. So what I concluded from her conversation was that Richard lost his money and his company was in default for months. And now that his credit card froze and he's in heavy debt, he had to immediately sell his mansion and his cars to compensate for all of it. They have to move out to some rented apartment and even return their luxury items. It was a lot to take in. I had no idea what to say, so I tried my best to comfort her and coax her, but Lily said something unexpected. She requested I talk to Father and let her visit us. I wasn't sure why she wanted to meet us, but somewhere in the back of my mind, I had a hunch. I agreed to do so and decided to tell everything to Dad once he came out of his room for breakfast. When I started telling him about all of it, his expression was unreadable and he agreed to meet Lily. And we both knew what came next. Update number three. Hey guys, so Lily, she came to meet us the very next day. She was looking miserable and her eyes were red and swollen. I did pity her state since she looked so different from the last time I'd seen her. She immediately burst out crying as she started begging father to forgive her and started ranting about how much she regrets doing it all. I knew Dad was also doubting it just as I was, but then Dad decided to blurt out the obvious and Lily froze. He questioned her if she was back now that Richard had gone bankrupt and she needed money, and that's exactly what we had. Lily was speechless for a moment before she started to apologize for her past superficial behavior and told us that she learned her lesson that nothing stays forever, even wealth. And now she wants to rekindle her relationship with us and just wants to be part of the family again. It sounded so ridiculous. Now I'm not gonna lie, but she was young, and we both knew she got manipulated by Mom and then Richard, so we decided to give her a chance. 
But father made it clear that since she had given up the family name, it's not possible for her to get any part of the inheritance. As it was already divided, but she behaves and he found her trustworthy, he might give her his own. But hey, only in the future. Lily pondered over it for a few minutes before nodding her head. It was clear that did not trust her, but gave her a second chance. Lily came back with her belongings and stuff and moved into a big room right next to mine. Her demeanor was totally changed and she tried to be really polite and nice. And let me tell you, it was a pretty big shock for me. It was as if she was condemning her past behavior and trying to change for the better. I loved the new version of her and quickly we got along. Since I was the one who was loaded, so I would spoil her and buy her things. She started to take money from me too, but that was normal for me. I knew she needed it, so I didn't mind giving it to her. As for mother, I heard she and Richard were fighting a lot. Whenever Lily would call her, she was either high or hyper. There was no in-between. Richard was still trying to get a hold of the situation and had little money to keep living with it. I paid no heed to her talks with mom. She deserved it after all. I was aware that they were struggling to have even meals, and Richard was frustrated with her too. On the other hand, Lily did not help them at all. I had thought she would monetarily assist them, but I saw Lily staying aloof and not even sending them a penny. She stayed away from them, or at least that's what I had assumed, but it had all proven wrong a few days later. When I heard the call with Richard and got to know what she was doing here all this time. Update number four. This is the final post by OP. Hey guys, let me just tell you something real quick. I was appalled to know what she had been cooking up behind our backs. One night, I woke up feeling thirsty and went downstairs to fetch some water. When I heard her talking to somebody, she and her room's door were just cracked open, so unintentionally. <laughs> so I peek inside and see that she was talking on the phone with somebody. I was about to go away when I heard her say Richard. My curiosity aroused and I halted my movement. But what I heard just left me feeling down and straight up betrayed. Lily was talking about how she would get the money one way or the other and find a method to get her to share. And then she would go right back to them and Richard could just use it to get his business back on a float and file a lawsuit against them. She went on about being tired of seeing our faces and only doing it for the money. They even discussed a plan to give us to sign our property papers to make them get it all. In short, she was devising a plan to snatch everything from us while living right under our noses. I could not be angry or hearing that, so I opened the door. Barging in and slapping her so hard and snatching the phone from her just to cuss out Richard and take out all my anger. Well, I guess Dad heard the commotion and inquired about the reason for the fury. I spat out everything, telling him whatever the girl was saying, and Dad's face got red with anger. She held Lily's hand and dragged him out of the house and kicked her out. Dad was heartbroken and cried his heart out that night. This boiled my blood, so the very next day, I went to the place Richard and Mom were staying. I took some bodyguards with me as I warned them not to interfere in our lives again, or I would make sure to destroy whatever they had left. Richard had no power left and my threat was enough to scare him. He backed off as I warned him that I had even taken recordings of his calls with Lily and this could expose and ruin his life even more. Then I cut ties with mom and I warned Lily to never reach out to me again. My dad had to stay in the hospital for a few weeks as the tension took a toll on him. I decided to move on and focus on dad's health. Though, I learned about Richard dumping mom and kicking out Lily and then going to a shelter. A month had not even passed when we got to know that Richard... Oh, Richard. He was arrested for fraudulent dealings and he's in jail now 
with nobody to bail him out awaiting further challenges. I felt satisfied seeing them all meet a good ending after destroying our lives. Richard's business was destroyed. Mom, Lily, they're living pathetically while I started to work with father and got into the business. Lily and mom stayed away from me after that and I never got to see their faces again. While dad and I lived in the mansion and I looked forward to seeing me get even happier without their toxic presence and negativity in my life ever again. I mean, this story was just shocking. The deceitfulness, the betrayal, the red flags left and right, and then the betrayal at the end of the story too. I mean, this story had everything. I want to know, if you were in the father's position, what would you do? I mean, learning about your wife's betrayal and then your daughter follows suit, guys. Drop your comments down below. Let's discuss this story. If you're new to the channel, my name's Mr. Reddito. I post stories every single day. Some of the topics are about am I the a-holes, inheritance dramas, family dramas, sibling rivalries, Karens in the wild. Literally, you name it, we'll cover it. Also known for some saga stories and whatnot, so subscribe for daily videos. Have a fantastic day, and I'll see you in the next one. I'll see ya.